So today I want to talk about something that's currently going around in the Sonic community, and that is with Kishimoto being active responding to fans so much on Twitter. But I'm not going to talk about everything he said, no, not today. Today, I want to talk about the one thing in particular Kishimoto has recently said, and what he recently have just said, he might have just given us a little bit of info on what the next Sonic game is going to play like. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh wait, intros aren't really much of a thing anymore. So if you don't know, Morio Kishimoto, who is the director of Sonic Frontiers, has recently said that for Sonic Frontiers, he considered not using the boost formula originally, but they kept it in and changed it up for the open zone style of the game. But now, he's saying that the team is now thinking of abandoning the boost formula for the next game, being Frontiers 2 or whatever it will be. So this is something to really think about right here. Not only is Kishimoto saying, that they're thinking of abandoning a style of gameplay that has been around for a very long time, but could be opening the doors for something new or better. Like, think about this for a second, you guys. This could mean the return of the Spin Dash, possibly. And this would be the perfect thing to bring back. Now, while yes, we have every right to be afraid of a Spin Dash returning in a new Sonic game because of <clears throat> Lost World, but that game was received horribly, so I doubt they'll ever return to that style. So, no need to worry. But this is some pretty interesting stuff right here, if you really think about it. Abandoning a style of gameplay that has been used ever since Sonic Unleashed and was first introduced in Sonic Rush, this style of gameplay for Sonic has been around for a long time and was once the staple for Sonic gameplay in the 2010s, but the mere possibility of them returning to what is probably the most definitive way to play Sonic, and that is something along the lines of adventure, is really exciting to hear and shows a really bright future for the Sonic series. Going adventure style for the future of the series is really the way to go, I think. And I'm sure a lot of you can agree with me on this. In Adventure, Sonic had what most of us like to call pinball physics platforming, which was basically Sonic, you know, rolling down hills to gain speed. Pretty much when you go downhill, the faster you go. So basically, momentum. Now, you can make the argument that Sonic Frontiers did have momentum in it. While, yes, that might be true, it's only just a little. Like, you see Sonic speed up going downhill a little bit. Look at the difference from Adventure to Frontiers. You see what I mean? While yes, I did enjoy the style of gameplay Sonic Frontiers had, it definitely was new and fun, don't get me wrong, I really loved it and enjoyed it, but let's all be honest, it could have been better, with say, maybe the spin dash, or again, proper momentum. I know a lot of you in the Sonic fanbase are very tired of the word momentum. Oh, the M word, M word, M word, oh, M word, M word, oh! But this is a word we must bring back up if we really want to see this done well. Because having that momentum is what really made the adventure games so loved and still loved to this very day. And in fact, we're now seeing mods for Sonic Frontiers, which are basically implementing that momentum into Sonic Frontiers and just making the game look overall more fun. But them getting rid of the boost is something I thought would never happen. The fact that Kishimoto has said the team is considering completely abandoning the boost, just, I don't know, man. I'm not saying I'm like sad or disappointed right now, no, quite the opposite, but it makes me really curious just to see what they'll do. Now, while yes, they'd have to make it good and not just slap on a spin dash and call it a day, if they really want to incorporate this, then they really need to make it good, just like how they did in Adventure, to where if you spin dash off a ledge or something, you can carry that momentum. But I have faith in Kishimoto. Now you might be asking yourself, what do I really think of them getting rid of the boost? Well, now to be perfectly honest with you all, as much as I loved the boost throughout my childhood and into my adult years, personally I'm kind of getting tired of it. Don't get me wrong, Sonic Team did the best they could in Frontiers of it. I mean, you could turn Sonic around in a boost game, alright, all right, that's progress. But in all honesty, if they want to take this step, I am all for it. I would love to see the return of the Spin Dash in 3D Sonic. It's what made the first two 3D adventure games so iconic the way it was implemented in that. I feel like if they get rid of the boost, that'll make us have a bit more fun with the worlds they make in the next game, mainly because the boost really isn't fit for any open world Sonic game. The spin dash makes so much more sense for this type of game. Again, not that the boost was bad in any way in this game, and if they do change their mind and they do end up doing it again, I'll be okay with it. Overall, I'm just glad to see that Sonic Team is no longer scared to bring back something closer to the adventure style of gameplay. If you kind of take a look and notice, Sonic Team are getting less scared to implement old things from the past originally, like having playable characters again, then wanting to bring back the spin dash and whatnot, and having a more somber tone in Sonic games. If you notice, Sonic Team isn't afraid to do the things they tried to get away from anymore. If you don't know what I'm saying, basically all the things I just mentioned, the last time they were all in one package was Sonic 06. Sonic 06 had the adventure style gameplay being spin dash and I'm pretty sure they intended on momentum but they didn't have any time because the game had to be rushed out. 
Also, we got to play as Sonic's friends like Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Rouge, Omega, Silver, and Blaze in one game, might I add. Also, the game had a very somber tone and a decent story. While Unleashed and Black Knight were the last games to have good stories in them, you get what I'm saying, right? All these things were harshly criticized back then, and ever since then, Sega have been so scared to let Sonic Team ever go back to it. But now we're seeing that might not be the case anymore. And I truly love this. And I love that Sonic Team have truly showed us that they can make a great Sonic game. It's just Sega holding them back, and that is they rushing out projects and all that. If they do the spin dash in the next game, that'll be awesome. If they don't, it's fine. It'll be whatever. I have full faith in Sonic Team that they can make another great 3D Sonic game. And especially now seeing that Sega is hiring for Sonic Team and giving Sonic Team more resources and more staff does show a good sign for the future and for what Sonic has set in stone next time for us. But anyways everyone, that's all I've got for today. Let me know in the comments, how would you feel if the next Sonic game got rid of the boost and replaced it with the spin dash? Let me know everyone. Anyways, thanks for watching, I love you all, see you in the next one, and until then everyone, take care.